I'm not 100% sure how to take it apart, but I'm going to just go for it and start pulling off screws and nuts and see what happens. Six millimeter. Well, that was easy. Oh. This is where I use this puller. I read a while back that you had to have this puller. And now I'm uh now I'm seeing why. I think it's right here. Cause it's got threads on the inside here. Hmm. Hey, <laughs> man, that's necessary to have that tool. I got this with treats, and it's just called a motobacon puller. And I had read that you couldn't do this without it, so I bought it. It was probably ten bucks. And, uh, and I think that's right. I don't know how that, you would do that without this puller. So, um, so I sure am glad I got it. Oh, that's a good sign. There it is. Snap ring pliers didn't work. This did. You need a very small magnet to get these like shims out. I wonder if I can dump them out. Yeah, that's it. would be really easy if you had a real thin magnet that you could shove down there. I don't have that. The little nubbins on my on my snap ring pliers are too thick to fit in that tiny little snap ring, so I'm gonna grind them down a little bit. Is that stupid? I don't know. That might be stupid. I'm gonna do it anyway. Safety 
first. Or second. So I certainly made them pointier at the cost of some length, but hopefully now they'll fit in that stupid snap ring. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, I did. It's pouring outside right now. There we go. I'm guessing these two screws go all the way into the block. Oh yeah, that was it. There's a 40 year old gasket. Okay, I guess I'm going to take off the cylinder head. I think before I get too much further, I'm going to go ahead and start bagging these because I'm starting to get too many bolts and nuts and pins to remember where they all go. Take this piston off. These wrist pins are weird looking. They're not like normal ones I've seen. I guess that's how they're supposed to look. Usually they have two, but
thick these piston rings are. That's sweet. And the good news is everything looks in really good shape. Leave the one with the bracket for the end, so we can keep it in the in the clamp for as long as we can. have some kind of seals in them. A little bit. Oh, that's nasty. I'm gonna have to heat it up. I just wanted to blow that out because it had a lot of gas in it. Probably from running that leaky ass Gertner carb that I hate. The more I play with that carb, the less convinced I am that I'm going to run even the original one with that carb on it. I have like three DeLordos sitting around and I like those. Anyway. Now it's had time to get all that gas out of it and the fumes out. I'm gonna go ahead and heat it up and um, and uh, then I'm gonna try to separate these uh, these cases. That's hot! Holy crap, that's hot! Engines apart! That was fun! That's the good stuff! I love it! Man, everything else looks great on this engine! And get some new seals and some new bearings. But everything else is fantastic. Happy to see it. Alright. That's it for me tonight. That's all.